Hey guys, Kim Nonstop here, and I want to ask you guys a question. What are your goals? This will help you answer your own questions about how much cardio should I be doing every week? How much strength training should I be doing every week? What should I be eating? How much time should I spend working out? All of these questions can be answered by one thing, setting a goal. You need a goal. Everybody needs a goal. And it's not something we do intuitively. Sometimes we're like, oh, I just want to look like Kate Moss. That, first of all, she's way too skinny. <laughs> but second of all, instead of picking your favorite celebrity and saying, oh, I want to look like them, or instead of picking a model in a magazine and saying, I want to look like that, work with what you got. I can tell you, just a side note to the women out there, there is nothing more freeing than having a tangible, goal like a time um, or a distance because as women and some men too I know this is true we get so focused on details and like I want this to look like this and I want I just want this part to come in just a little bit you know and that's pretty unhealthy way to think about our bodies is that we have this body shape we're given we can enhance it but in the end we're not going to change it 100% and if you're just focusing instead on, I want to run a 5K in under 20 minutes, you know, I want to finish my marathon in under four hours, or I want to finish my first double spin classes back to back, or I want to do my first spin class, whatever it is, try to make it a physical, tangible goal, like a time or um, a distance or an amount, like five classes in one week or, uh, 10 miles or under five minutes mile, which I totally can't do running at all. Biking, yeah. I'm telling you, there's nothing more freeing than having that because then you're gonna focus on training for that and you're gonna end up pushing harder. You'll have something to keep track of number-wise that isn't a scale because scales are just really misleading. And if your goal for yourself is like the last 10 pounds, generally those can be the hardest to lose. If you've got a big weight loss goal, break it down. You need to break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. You can't just say, by August, I'm gonna be wearing this bikini and I'm gonna be 20 pounds lighter. You have to say how you're gonna do it. What is, what is your next step? To get there by August, I'm going to up my cardio by two more sessions per week. So you have to write everything down. I'm telling you guys, I have like a book of things that I'm constantly writing down in this um, to check in with myself and sometimes mapping out my week when I'm making my food on Sundays. Also mapping out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna do this. And you know what, like I am the perfect example of a procrastinator. I fall short all the time. I set goals for myself and I don't meet them quite often, but you know what? I set a lot of goals and about out of five, I'd say I meet two of them, but I would have met none of them had I never set them. You can't go wrong by setting goals. You cannot go wrong. Picture it, visualize it, detail it, color it in, because I want you guys all to succeed. I think if we all succeed in what we really truly want, we'll all be happier people in it risk of sounding like a super hippie, the world will be a better place and will be nicer because we won't be miserable and walking around with crushed dreams. I want you guys to go out there and set your goals. So to take this even further, I want you to put your goals in the comments below. Write down your goals in the comments below. It's gonna be scary, especially if it's a good one. It's gonna be a scary thing to write down, to have people publicly read it. Um, stating your goals out loud, telling your family members and your friends, and being held accountable. Uh, it's really important sometimes our self-imposed deadlines don't always get met because we can be really lenient on ourselves and be like, I'll get to it. Or we can also be defeatist with ourselves and say, well, I'll never be that person, so why even bother trying? Stop with the negativity and start writing down some concrete things that you can do today tomorrow, next week, the following week, to get you closer to where you want to be. I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference in your training. That's it from Kim Nonstop, my most serious video yet. Remember, 
like and subscribe to my channel because me succeeding at this YouTube channel is one of my goals and you guys can help make that happen by clicking like on this video right now and subscribing to my channel right now. I hope you guys have a great week. It will make a Take me really seriously with my blue hair. Wearing a tube. Oh god, I can't draw. This is hilarious. That's a stupid figure with a bikini on.